Hey guys, this is Mike, aka Beeple here. I wanted to give you guys a quick uh, behind the scenes of this Zoom background I made for Adobe and uh, just sort of show you how it came together and the tools that I use to, to make the work that I do. Uh, the main tool that I use is Cinema 4D and for this background, I also used a plugin called Forrester. It's a really cool app that, that lets you sort of build out different types of plants. You can change the petals, the blades, the sort of branches. And, and what I was trying to do here is make a bunch of sort of alien, very exotic looking plants. So basically creating a bunch of different variations uh, with uh, based on sort of trying to make things that, that feel very alien and very foreign and, and come up with a bunch of different designs like that. From here we're going to go into Adobe Stock and find some textures for the plants as well as the ground. And I really like using Adobe Stock because you can try out low res versions of the textures and then very easily replace them afterwards. So now that we have our designs, um, we're going to go ahead and start putting the scene together. Um, for this scene I wanted to have it loop and zoom through this sort of infinite, uh, you know, alien jungle. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is make our ground and then also make the sort of water that we're going to have. And for the renderer, I use Octane Renderer and uh, it has a really fun really helpful scatter function that can uh, sort of duplicate all these plants on the ground. So that's what we're going to do here. And we're also going to sort of randomize things and add in some trees as well to, to give some size variation. Here again, we're gonna use Adobe Stock to find a nice swirly paint texture that's gonna give the water a sort of mixed, uh, you know, moving feel as we're flying over it. From there, it's sort of uh, about dialing in the lighting, dialing in the textures, and then uh, the next thing we need to do is animate our camera so that the scene loops. And the trick with that is to copy all of the, the section of forest that you made and make a, a, a more copies of it and then zoom the camera through that and set the copies to be, say, a thousand apart and then move the camera a thousand sort of like inches or whatever units uh, of space there. So if you set them a thousand apart and then you move the camera a thousand, when they sort of go to the other side, it will create a perfect loop. So now that we have that rendered out, we're going to go into After Effects here and add in some sort of post work. Um, this is a good place to put in um, fog and uh, sort of particles, the particles you can kind of see floating in the air. I use uh, Trap Code Particular for that. Uh, it's really nice to be able to do in post so you can have, you know, a bit more control over it. Here again, we're going to pull in a time-lapse video of clouds from Adobe Stock just to give it a subtle little extra bit of movement. There are a ton of great options, so it's really easy to find the exact look you want. And then I also animated out a uh, depth pass using the, the uh, for Octane, there's like a, a Z depth pass that you can use to later in in uh, After Effects, use that to, to animate fog and be able to sort of like control it uh, with a little more precision afterwards. From there, I use Magic Bullet Looks for any final grading and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe up there.